Hey guys, let's talk about Ebony Shanetta Spears. Ebony was born on May 12, 1985, and she's been missing since January 15, 2016, from Wilmington, North Carolina. At the time of her disappearance, she was 30 years old, between 5 feet 7 and 5 feet 8, between 140 and 150 pounds. She's an African-American female with black hair and brown eyes. She has a tattoo of a rose on her right shoulder and a tattoo of a butterfly on the top of her right foot. Her hair was dyed blonde at the time of her disappearance. Ebony suffers from lupus, a serious and sometimes fatal autoimmune disease. She was diagnosed in the summer of 2015. She had recently been prescribed an antidepressant and became confused and paranoid after she started taking it. She may be in need of medical attention. Ebony was last seen near her home at Taylor Home Estates in the 1300 block of Brooklyn Lane in Wilmington, North Carolina at 10.45 p.m. on January 15, 2016. Earlier that evening, she went to the Wilmington Police Department station in the 600 block of Best Street, several blocks from her home, and asked to use the phone. She was acting strangely and appeared to be disoriented. She was directed to the payphone in the lobby and was unable to operate it. She paced back and forth between the front desk and the phone for about 10 minutes, then left. The night before her disappearance, Ebony's parents had met her in the parking lot of the police station. They'd wanted the police to commit her to the hospital for psychiatric treatment. Paramedics were called to the parking lot, but they left without taking Ebony to the hospital. Within about an hour, Ebony was acting lucid again, and her parents allowed her to come home. The next day, she had breakfast at her parents' home on Price's Lane, and later her father took her to her own home. She was supposed to drive herself back to her parents' house for dinner, but at 7 p.m., Ebony called her mother and said she had eaten and was going to stay at home. This was the last call Ebony made on her cell phone. Between 7 and 8 p.m., she flagged down a van driven by an employee of the Community Boys and Girls Club on Nixon Street within blocks of the police headquarters. Ebony was acting paranoid, as if she believed someone was following her. She was driven to the club and spoke to a social worker there, then left and went to the police station. At 10.45 p.m., she approached her neighbor and asked for a cigarette. He wouldn't give her one, and she said she was going to walk to a nearby store. The neighbor is the last person known to have seen Ebony. At 11 p.m., her boyfriend let himself into her apartment. Her vehicle was parked outside and her purse was in the apartment, but her cell phone was missing, and when he called it, a call went straight to voicemail. Ebony's boyfriend waited two hours for her to come home, then called her parents. The next afternoon, her parents reported her disappearance to the police. It's uncharacteristic of Ebony to leave without warning. She's described as a reliable person and a devoted mother to her daughter. Due to her medical condition, she's believed to be at risk. Her case remains unsolved. If you have any information, please call the Wilmington Police Department at 910-343-3686.